Hey, hey royalty. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Sagittarius, the moon rising Venus and North Moon. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box, y'all. Let's begin, and I'm sending all of us with peace, love, and light, always. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest bright light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon? Sagittarius, you're 10 steps ahead. Okay, yeah, somebody here definitely could be wanting to put you on. Ooh. Yeah, y'all, look at that. Somebody here wants to put you on a lifestyle that you may not want. Okay, this could also be someone that you can consider to be your person. And this is someone that's trying to sneak attack you. This is also someone that's lying on your name for some of y'all. Be mindful of that. Be mindful of who you are trusting, who you are claiming, who you are giving your energy to, Sagittarius. Okay, for some, some of y'all, you can have children with this individual. They can have children, and it's like they have their, their children lying for them. Yeah, and this person is very jealous. They're very hateful. Okay, they're also in an they're, they're an energy vampire. This energy is also like taking screenshots of things. They don't see that God is watching. I also see, yeah, you're 10 steps ahead. You could be in a very dominating energy at this time. And yeah, you're not letting people treat you like a child. This could also be a group that's trying to gang up on you. Yeah, that's on demon time. You could have disconnected from a group of people and now these, these people feel empty without you. It could also be a Libra that's involved. Well, this could be a Libra. You guys could also have Libra in your birth chart. Something could have happened in Libra season. Yeah, I'm seeing here. Yeah, you're not in denial any longer about a situation. Yeah, and it's like you're moving towards a connection that the spiritual realm actually wants to happen. And that's what's helping you. Yeah, two, three, four on the timer, as I said this. Yeah, somebody is done for good. It's this energy that is on trickster BS. They're getting ready to learn and know how to behave. This is someone that's trying to come back towards you because they want you to compromise with them. Okay, but it's a no. Yeah, somebody constantly wants to argue with you. They constantly want, to, want you to be in drama. I'm seeing here, yeah. And it's like they could be realizing they're not going to get the money or they're not going to make the money that they may, they may need to, like, match you or for you to feel like, you know, they are, they're they doing the work. Mm -mm. It's because this energy doesn't want you to let them go. They don't want you to leave them. But you could have already left them. You could already be in the process of moving away from them. Yeah, I'm, t I'm speaking to people that have went ghosts. Okay, you guys have disconnected or it's like you're in your energy solitude, you're doing the shadow work, healing work, you're reflecting on like your past, you know, where you're going, your future, okay, on childhood issues, or on wounds, you're healing it. You guys have abandonment issues, you are healing that, you are working through it, you are understanding why certain things had to take place in your life and it's putting you at a place of power, success, po knowledge is power. Okay, three, four, five, as I'm saying this, I'm also seeing here, yeah, this is also about you guys enjoying your space, enjoying your solitude, enjoying your own energy. Very intuitive. I'm speaking to very intuitive, very divine beings with the high priestess popping out. The number seven could be significant. Also, the number two, also the number red. I'm sorry, the color red could also be significant. Yeah, Pisces energy is here as well. I'm seeing here. Yeah, but this is about you, like, being able to tap into those messages that the divine is giving you and is sending you. You're being able to pick up on things that others may not with the, with the high priestess being here. This is also you being able to, like, really protect your energy, okay? It's like you, mm -hmm. you're very spiritually inclined, gifted. This could be coming out in different ways as well. This is like double Pisces energy. Heavy Pisces is here. Yeah, your vision is completely clear. Wow, as I looked up 444, you have a lot of spiritual protection around you, Sagittarius. Yeah, there's also someone that you could be mirroring at this time. There, this person's going through a tower moment. There was some type of destruction, upheaval that could have taken place. 
It could have been with an Aries. You had to like really stand your ground or put up like limitations, put up your boundaries. Okay, somebody here was trying to make you like change up your standards or your belief system. And you had to like let this person understand you will move forward. Okay, it's like you closed some type of chapter out of your life. You learned the lesson. You're not repeating cycles any longer. This is Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Energy 212 could be significant. Somebody could be in New York. I'm seeing the number 21 could be significant. Somebody could be born on that date or on the number two, or they could be born in February. The number three is also significant or in March. They go that number seven. I said it. <laughs> or July or on the seven. Yeah, it's all about new love here. <laughs> this is like you loving yourself. Like this is like complete, completeness. You could be a musician. You may listen to music. You could just be in that energy. Just even be listening to, like, Beyonce songs, Destiny Child songs. But it ain't no need to find. You know me? I'm going to be my own best friend. <laughs> so y'all could be in your Y'all are, like, your own best friend at this time. So y'all are being the person that you guys always needed. I'm seeing here. Yeah, that's bringing in a lot of protection and healing energy. Things are being balanced for you guys. Had to sacrifice something. The number 14 could be significant. The number 5 may could be significant. Somebody could be born on the 14th. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Anything else that they need to know? Yeah, you guys are balancing out a lot of different things. So if I'm you have a lot of tasks and responsibilities that you're handling at this time. Yeah, and you're also keeping a lot of things to yourself. The Four of Pentacles, you're not letting people know. Something ended very rapidly. It ended very abruptly. And it could have even been like emotionally hurtful with the Ten of Swords. You guys could be like really like protecting yourself at this time in a protective energy. And there's someone that's watching you. This is an energy that's at a distance. They're watching you like hold back or keep to yourself. And they're trying to figure out like why you're doing this. They're trying to keep tabs on you. Yeah, it, it was some type of delay or hold up or stagnation that could have taken place. What's the four of pentacles? Like you had to do this. You could have felt like you had to hold back from this. Yeah, because somebody here with the five, five of swords, they were trying to make you feel defeated or make you feel like, less than or trying to make you surrender something that you didn't want to surrender okay with the four of pentacles i see this it was like you have new blessings that's coming in and somebody here could have wanted to play games with you yeah you intimidated this individual because of your intellect how quick you are how smart you are okay how you're able to discern things or how you're able yeah you also are like able to manifest what you want at this time it could have made somebody very you know like aggressive or hostile or wanting to come rushing in. Somebody here could have also been very persistent in regards to like working with you in business or trying to like collaborate with you in different things. They, they were trying to push their motive onto you. Yeah, there you go, Sagittarius. And all you're doing is taking charge towards your path. But you have somebody that was coming in with swords energy. Yeah, they didn't see that you could pop off. Like they, they didn't see this. You would turn your back and literally like keep moving forward in your authentic self. Somebody here didn't realize this. Yeah. I see you're able to, yeah, right now it's like you're manifesting ways away from conflict with the six of swords. And it's like your ancestors, your spirit guides are, are doing just that. They're setting up paths for you to move away from conflicting situations that make you feel like you have to stand your ground against or that make you feel like you're always having to argue or there could be like hidden disputes that happens. Or like this could even be distance or coldness between you and someone. But the five of pentacles, someone here is like secretly going through like financial hardships and it could be putting them at a place of feeling like really hurt in life, heartbroken, especially because your karmic justice is to move away with peace, with grace, being tranquil. This is like tranquility energy here. Ooh, this is also like something being balanced out for you and going in your favor. Okay, it could have been a lot of injustices that you were going through, even like something to do with court, a court situation that's now working out for you. 
Yeah, there's also something to do with your home. People could like be very intimidated by where you live, by how you upkeep your home. This could even be like a foundation that you're building. It could be an empire that you're building with the Four of Wands, or you could be in some type of partnership with someone and you guys could be building on something that is solid, that's sturdy. Yeah, with the higher fine, it's like you got, you want something that's religious, that's structured, that's blessed under God. It's like you want something that's traditional, a, a marriage, something, a monogamous connection, relationship, not something that is like frivolous or it's like you and the person are just sleeping around with whoever. No, no, no. Like you want something where it's like wrapped around God. Yeah, that's, that's judgment. And it's like you having this standard about yourself is really stressing someone out or is even putting pressure on people. Yeah, it's like there could be rejections taking place. And that's fine. It's like it's all about you having to stay in an emotional energy with the four cups. People are like, it's like there's somebody that's like turned off by how close you are to Father God or how the fact that you want something that's very like, that's engulfed around what you stand for, what you stand on. Yeah, everything's going to work out. Ooh, every, ooh, all right, okay. Everything is getting ready to work out for you. I cannot make it up with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody here definitely wanted you to make quick actions, especially with Steph, like being very impulsive all over the place even. Someone here also could have like looked at you as someone here that could be like by yourself single. So you may be wanting like hook up type of energy. No, no, no. It's like they wanted to give you something very small. Okay. It's the page of pentacles. Yeah. And it would have brought you a lot of burdens. And this is an energy that's realizing this, that uh, it's, they're the ones that's going to be in this energy with the five of cups. Yeah. That cycle of that, of your life of having to deal with people that are flighty or in and out or not consistent is. It's over. You already learned those lessons. You're not repeating that. You're, you'll walk away. You know your worth. Like, this is you, like, leaving things behind, walking away, distancing yourself. You have learned the spiritual lesson in that chapter, and it's like you know achievement is coming in because of that. You know there's a new start, a new beginning, something fresh with the world card. There's something new, a new project. This could even be a new contract, a renewal. There's something that's new that's happening because you decided to choose you. The Eight of Cups is all about you abandoning, you leaving something that you could have invested a lot of time and energy into and you thought was going to grow, but it just did not give you what you truly wanted out of it. But you have the strength and courage to believe in Father God and know that Father God is not going to leave you hanging. You're going to get your just desserts. You're going to get that blessing, okay? Whatever you have had to leave behind or whatever he had to remove out of your life, he replaces with bigger, with grander, with better. It's all about that belief, Yeah. With the King of Cups, there is somebody that's coming towards you that's going to want to pursue you. And this person is emotionally grounded. This could be a water sign for some of y'all. A Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you're getting ready to become. Or this is just you becoming emotionally grounded, truly loving yourself. You know, yeah, having equal give and take. There is somebody that's coming in with a really big offer. They're going to want something solid. And it's going to be equal with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And it's because you did the work. You're not taking less than. Something shiny, brand new, solid, real, something is <laughs> and something that is secure with the ace of pentacles. This is also a new financial um either advancement, promotion, a raise, a blessing, a gift from God, or just something new, a new creative project, endeavor that you're gonna be taking action on that's gonna bring in a lot of financial security. It could also be wrapped around a project or idea with this person that's coming in that has emotional feelings for you. This could be a water sign, okay? This could also be a female. She's just in her masculine energy, but this is someone that just knows what they want in regards to love. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be seeing you on the next video.